Today, I want to talk about the hard money handbook, seven steps to guaranteed hard money loan approval. This handbook, hard money handbook, you can get a copy of it at www.hardmoneyhandbook.com. It's designed for borrowers, operators, people who want to buy, fix and sell or buy, fix and rent real estate, and they need capital to fund their deals. The purpose of this document is to help you as a borrower to understand how to create a better loan application, how to build yourself up into a more attractive borrower so that you can obtain and get loan approval on hard money loans. So that the next time you have a deal to fund or next time you have a deal that you want to buy, the funds are there ready to go because you've already taken these steps to get ready. It's very similar to if you want to buy a house, you get pre-approved. It's kind of like that idea. But what this really does, it helps you to understand the dynamics associated with a hard money loan so that you can be ready and you can be more informed and more educated as a borrower because that's going to help you when the next deal comes along. Sound good? I really like this uh, handbook. It's only it's four chapters. It's it's not super long, but it starts out with an introduction. What you know? What are hard money loans? You know, definitions and why would a borrower use a hard money loan? You know, things like that. Uh, how much does a hard money loan cost? And how does a hard money lender evaluate a loan? So that's the first introduction. You know, the first couple of pages just gives you a breakdown of the ABCs of what the hard money loans are and how they work and, and you know, why you would want to use those, when you would want to use those, things like that. Chapter two talks about the hard money loan process, you know, the Finley Capital hard money loan process. As you know, it's a six step process. We talk about apply, process, underwrite, fund, service, and repay. So that's the entire life cycle of a hard money loan broken down into six steps. So this document really breaks down each step and helps the borrower to understand what they're, what's, what they're looking at in each part of the process. Uh, it's pretty short, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't go too in depth, but it gives you a good idea of what you'll need paperwork wise, what you can expect loan term wise, things like that. What happens when a loan is funded? What happens when you have a draw request and what happens when you want to repay the loan? What happens if you need an extension, all those kind of things. And then on chapter three, I really like this one. Uh, we talk about the four C's of underwriting. I think we've done that in a, a different podcast already, but we have, you know, the four C's as we call them collateral character capacity and credit. Uh, those are the four main things that we at Finley Capital look like look at for underwriting. So if you're a borrower and you're looking at getting a hard money loan, you want to think about what the what the, the lenders are going to look at in terms of your, you know, those four C's. So you need to build those up and, and have your ducks in a row ahead of time. It's like having the answers to the test. Okay, so just read this, read through this and understand what, you know, what we're talking about in terms of capacity, your ability to execute on the deal, you're having available capital to, you know, handle overruns and things like that. Okay, and then we get into the good stuff, the seven steps to guaranteed hard money loan approval. And I want to read them to you right now, the, all seven steps. Bear with me here. Here we go, ready? Step number one, find the right project. Step number two, define a clear exit strategy. Step number three, submit a full comprehensive loan application. Step number four, include comparable sales and photos. Step five, build a comprehensive scope of work. Step six, become a strong borrower. And step seven, be professional. Okay, let's go through each one. I like that. I like that. It's a good it's a good layout of how to get your loans approved. All you got to do is follow the steps in here. All right, here we go. Step number 1, find the right project. Before you submit a loan application to your hard money lender, it is crucial that you underwrite the terms of the deal yourself in detail. Your hard money lender will evaluate the numbers on your loan application through the lens of a lender, so you will need to consider that perspective as well. As a borrower, you want to underwrite the deal yourself before submitting it to your hard money lender for consideration. Because if your lender comes to the conclusion that you have requested more than their standard loan exposure limit, that lender will quickly lose confidence in your ability to understand the mechanics of the flip and the financing involved with the hard money loan. Before you begin submitting loan applications for consideration by a hard money lender, make sure that you know your individual success formula. In other words, you need to know what your uh, your guidelines are and make sure that your loan application and your underwriting matches those. Um, 
that's very important. If you don't yet have a formula, consider joining an investor group or a network or get, you know, get a mentor. Don't be submitting loan applications for hard money loans when you don't know what you're doing yet. Right? Slow down. Define a clear exit strategy. When you present a loan request to your hard money lender, one of the key elements to be considered in your plan is your ability to repay the loan down the road. Key elements. One of the first things I ask a borrower is, what's your exit strategy? In fact, it's right there on a loan application. Yeah. You know, if they say resell, I say, okay, fine. Let's really look deep at the comps to see what deals are selling for like this. If it's to refinance, we say, okay, let's really go deep into what your plan is. Who's your lender? What does your tax returns look like now? If you need those, what does your credit look like now? Have you, how far have you gotten in conversation with these lenders? Have you analyzed what you think the fees and costs and the interest rate will be? Does that match the debt service coverage ratios that you're going to need to cover all those things? The clear exit strategy is step two in guaranteed hard money loan approval because without it, you don't have a clear path to exiting the loan and no hard money lender is going to lend you funds if he or she doesn't see how you're going to get, repay them. Step three, submit a full loan application. Now this seems like common sense, but let's go through it a little bit. Although it is true that a hard money loan is based on the current and future value of the property, your character, capacity, creditworthiness, are all very relevant factors that need to be considered. Most hard money lenders will conduct a background check, they will review your credit report, and they will dig into your financials to gain a clear picture of your credit profile. The more information you can include in your loan application at the beginning, the more seriously you will be taken. Now this, this makes sense in any industry, but when you're applying for money, submit a full loan application. Show your hard money lender how organized and professional you are. Don't make them ask you over and over and over again for documents. I'll tell you one thing right now. When I have to ask a borrower over and over for docs, or if I have to ask them to sign something over and over and over, it's a major red flag to me, yeah. okay? And I don't have unlimited capacity to lend money. So I'm gonna lend money to the people who are very professional at the beginning. Mm -hmm. and, and so you as the borrower need to think about that. You need to be professional. Most hard money lenders will provide you with a required document checklist. Present yourself as a professional by building a complete loan application package and by submitting everything together at once. Okay, keep going. Step four, include comparable sales and photos. In other words, when you are submitting your loan application, you're, uh, the underwriting is going to do their own internal analysis or they're gonna order an appraisal. But if you can provide comparable sales data, leading them in the right direction, showing the lender that you know what you're doing too, and you have logic behind your after repair value estimates, that's gonna go a long way in building credibility and speeding up the process because they might even be able to use some of those comps. That's gonna shorten the time they take. Every hard money lender has their own internal underwriting process to determine the current and future value of a property. Finley Capital is no different. In general, the best way to expedite an internal BMA or BPO process is to provide comps to help them out. Submitting comps with your loan application serves two purposes. Number one, it helps the underwriter to get a head start on finding good comps to support your estimate of value. And number two, it demonstrates your understanding of the market, which further builds credibility and trust in the eyes of the lender. Make sense? All right, let's keep going. By the way, you can get a copy of this whole download for free at www.hardmoneyhandbook.com. Just go there and grab it. Send your email. You'll be in our email database. We'll stay in touch with you that way. Step five, build a comprehensive scope of work. Okay, look, when we analyze a deal, we're looking at the purchase price, the renovation budget, and the after repair value. The second piece of that equation is the scope of work. So you need to have a comprehensive, detailed estimate of the cost for renovations. The second key figure in the loan to value formula is the total scope of work for the deal. Always include a comprehensive breakdown of all the estimated repairs to be performed in the property in a line item format that breaks down both labor and material costs. Your lender will most likely require a draw schedule for funds to be released for you as repairs are made. So try to build your own schedule to show the hard money lender how you plan to safely renovate the property and protect the lender's funds at the same time. It's very important, okay? Obviously, you're doing a deal. You're thinking about yourself. But what you need to be thinking about when you're borrowing money is how to show the lender that you understand the lender's interest in the deal and how you want to help them be protected as well. Two more steps. Step six, and again, I'm just paraphrasing this. You should download the whole thing. You can read it in detail. Step six, become a strong borrower. So this is common sense again, but let's go through it. Place yourself in the shoes of your hard money lender for a moment. What kind of borrower would you prefer to lend to? You want a borrower with lots of cash, great credit, tons of experience, and high moral character, right? Mm 
Okay. <laughs> so try to become that kind of strong yeah. borrower. It's just common sense, right? Save up as much cash as you can so that your personal financial statement looks stronger to your hard money lender. If you're borrowing 65,000, your lender would love to see 20 or 30,000 cash in the bank as opposed to 4,500 bucks. Okay. Cash shows the hard money lender that you have the means to finish a project that goes over budget. That's why I care about it. Yeah. I don't want my borrower to be so tight on capital that if they go over budget by five or 6,000 that they have a problem. Right. That's the whole thing. And I don't want, you know, I don't want you to be in that kind of spot. Mm -hmm. And obviously if you've got 20 or 30 or 40 or hundred grand in the bank, I know that no problem is going to occur because you're out of capital. Right. So that's important. Build your credit score. An 800 plus credit score borrower is much more attractive to a hard money lender than a 500 credit score borrower, Absolutely. right? If you got 500 credit, now you have to explain why you have 500 credit. You've made mistakes. You clearly, you've made a mistake in, in the credit world that makes you less attractive to a lender. So build your credit back up. Now, the nice thing about a hard money loan is it's not dictated solely on the borrower's ability to re repay the loan based on their credit score like a residential mortgage would be, but it is a factor. So do everything you can to rebuild your credit. If you have a low credit score, send in a letter of explanation with your loan application. That way you're offsetting the problem. It's not trying to, you're not trying to slide it by the lender. The lender's gonna check. So just say, hey, look, and I've had a couple borrowers. I had a borrower the other day called me up and said, hey, look, here's the deal. I'm not gonna lie to you. I had a bankruptcy two years ago. My credit is in the tank. And is that a problem? And I said, tell me more about it. Let's go through it. Because I'm not, some you know hard money institutional lending companies, they have strict criteria. They're not going right. to lend on a guy with a 579 credit score. If it's not X, they're not going to do it. I don't think that way because, again, I'm a person, not a company, yeah. and I can underwrite these deals deal at a time. So I asked him. I said, okay, well, tell me more about what happened. You know, what happened? And he said, X, Y, Z, this is what happened. This is how it happened. This is why it happened. This is what I did to recover. This is what I did to make it right. Da, 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 da. I said, no problem, bro. Yeah. Divorces happen. You know, I get it. I get it. You know, this happened, this got payment got missed or this got defaulted or whatever. You know, where are you now? What did you do to make that right? Um, sometimes I've found that people who have a credit problem or had a problem in their past, those are the ones that are working the hardest to try to make things right. Yeah. And those are the ones, if you give them a shot, they don't let you down. Right. So anyway, as a borrower, be a strong borrower, get your credit score as high as you can, and then you'll be in a better spot. Step seven, last but not least, be professional. And I can't stress this one enough. This might seem like common sense. I've said that a few times. Yeah. But it might be the most important step in obtaining loan approval from a hard money lender. Conduct yourself with professionalism at all times. Anytime you are emailing, texting, or talking to a lender or a team member of that lender, you're being scrutinized. You're being underwritten. Yeah. Don't forget that. A hard money lender does not want to work with an immature or unprofessional borrower. This is a business transaction. Treat it as such. Make sure your social media reflects professionalism and integrity. Only post content that would you would be proud to have your hard money lender look at. Show success with humility and grace. Include some of your struggles and adversity as well to demonstrate your ability to overcome them. Okay? Now, once your hard money loan has been approved and funded, make sure you do everything you said you would do. It's a big deal. Because you do one hard money loan and then you disappear and you're not doing what you said you're going to do, you'll never get another one from that bar, that lender. On the other side, if you do everything that you say you're going to do and you keep your word and you, you know, maintain professionalism through the whole transaction, that hard money lender is going to look at you differently. They're going to start reaching out to you. They're going to start wanting to work with you because now you've, right. can, you've built yourself into a credible borrower, which is what hard money lenders like me are looking for all day long. Repeat business from trusted professional borrowers. That's what you want to be. Go get them. Yeah.